uh, we are going to take a look at the interest for newer, newer Skylake i7 6700K and compare it with its uh, predecessor Broadwell i7 5775C. Uh, with Broadwell, Intel shrunk the node from 22 nanometer to 14 nanometer, uh, which kept same as Skylake. So, basically, it did not change any manufacturing process but it did potentially optimize the performance for a given clock period. So, we will take a look at these two high end processors and compare their performance, but let us take a look, look at their uh, specifications. Uh, both of them are quad cores and they have support for hyper threading. So, all it boils down to their clock frequencies. 4 gigahertz versus 3.3 gigahertz and 4.2 gigahertz versus 3.7 gigahertz. So, going purely by the clock frequency and or on the top of that may be slight improvement in its uh, processor arch architecture, we expect Skylake to be slightly better than the Broadwell. And one of the reasons is that it also has a higher cache memory at 8 MB versus 6 MB for Broadwell. <laughs> but that that improvement may be like in 10 percent 5 5 percent or smaller in this range. Uh, we will look take a look at the pass mark scores. Unfortunately, it does not tell the same story as we are predicting and that is 10,821 for Broadwell versus 10,886 for the sky lake which is not does not align with what we observe in the in the uh, specifications and one of the reasons could be the pass mark does take into account albeit it slow a little lower lower emphasis on the integrated graphics. So, let us take a look at the integrated graphics the sky lake is actually a scale down of uh, the Broadwell. Broadwell had Intel Iris Pro graphics 6200 and with higher number of shaders and number of processors in the gra graphics, but if the Skylake it scaled down to 530 ISD graphics 530 potentially to make room for the processor to grow and that is a compromise you can either have more graphics or more processing power and clock period for more clock period for the processor. So, that being from, from the graphics uh, enthusiast it will be a um, backward step. At the same time it allows you to choose one processor or the other depending upon what you need. If you need a more graphics your choice would be to go with i7-5775C. If you need to a better processor, you can go with i7-6700K. Uh, that is why Intel has two classes of processor, one is the Skylag, Broadwell and so on and so forth and then we will have a uh, Broadwell E or could be Skylake E and that does not have the graphics and that mm, in those processors Intel is able to put more number of cores. We have the benchmark results here and the average benchmark result for HT 6200 versus HT 530 is listed here. We have 68 percent better performance in uh, average user benchmark versus peak overload benchmark is 69 percent and then there are other benchmark that shows 44 percent. So, we have these uh, average benchmarks uh, results that predicts uh, as per our observation. So, I hope this uh, comparison makes sense to you. Thanks for taking a look.